Dear Sister Tapuola, you are hereby called to serve as a missionary of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. You are assigned to labor in the Nevada Reno Mission. It is anticipated that you will serve for a period of 18 months. You should report to the Provo Missionary Training Center on Wednesday, July 19, 2017. Hey, Dara. Um, just wanted to make this video to say a couple words to you and uh, wish you well. Um, just wanted to say how very proud we are of you um, in this decision that you've made to serve your mission and um, give your service and time to the Lord. Um, it's huge. It's such a, a big thing that you're doing. You're the first girl in our family to do this, and so it's a big deal for everyone. Uh, but not only that, it's um, you're, you're setting um, a great pathway and a great example to all of your siblings, um, even to all of your cousins and your little cousins such as my daughters and your little little cousins that have yet to come. Um, I know that this decision you're, you've made um, is blessing your family um, but it's also blessing all of us. And I really appreciate it and just want you to know how proud we are of you, how much we love you and we support you. And I'd have to say my only advice to you is one of my favorite scriptures. I think it's found in DNC and it says, um, the Lord says, I the Lord am bound when you do what I say. When you do not what I say, you have no promise. And I believe that with all my heart and I know that when you follow um, the example of Christ um, and serve the people of Reno and, and do everything you can to help our brothers and sisters out there, the Lord is bound to help you with whatever you need. Um, he'll be there to lead and guide you. And um, even during your dark times and your struggles, which um, everyone goes through and, and you're most likely going to face during your mission, um, know that the Lord is aware of you and aware of everything you're going through. And He does love you and is proud of you. Um, but that's my little two cents. Um, again, I just want to say I'm proud of you, I love you, and you're going to do great out there. Bye. We are lifted heavenward by that divine assurance and precious promise, and I quote, I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Um, you know you're getting ready to leave and go to Reno on your mission, and we are your Sing our family. Um, I'm going to go across and let all of them say something. Um, their mission. Go ahead, Fatai. You say what you want to say to Adira. I uh, hope you have a great mission. Sama? Uh, you're pretty awesome to go on. Yes. Is he? Do you want to say anything to Adira? Okay. I'd like to tell you too, like Sama, that we are so proud of you. I know you haven't left or I know you're on your way and we're super proud of you choosing to go on a mission and serve the Lord. Um, my advice would be give them everything you got on your mission. And um, gosh, I think it's just love, love the people you serve and work hard. There's nothing greater than giving everything you got and walking away from it, knowing that you put your whole heart into it. And also know that we're praying for you. We pray every night for the missionaries, for you and for Grant. And we just want you to know that you make us proud and you're such a fine example to all of my girls and to me too. I'm literally living my missionary dreams in your shoes. So I'm loving to hear all the stories. Thank you for serving your mission. Love you and Godspeed till we meet again. Hi, Hi Dara. Dara. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed the MTC and having a wonderful experience there. That's one of my favorite places. And you, you know, you feel the spirit and it Tell you that the Lord will bless you for, for what you're doing. I know that you will face a lot of trials. I mean, face some trials, not a lot, but some. But when you just obedient and do what you're supposed to do, doing, you will continue to bless you on the um, work that you're doing for Him. Um, love you. <laughs> well, you know, Dara, I hope they call me on a mission. <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I'm so happy that you're able to go on a mission. Uh, 
representing the females of this uh, big old clan. So fighting. <laughs> Keep going, Adira. Okay, <laughs> love you. God knows you individually. He sends messages of encouragement, correction, and direction fitted to you and to your needs. Hello, Sister Chupola. We just wanted to send our love and um, all, to you all the way from Virginia. Uh, we love you. We're sad we weren't able to be a part of your going away, but we know you're going to be a great missionary out in um, Reno. And we just wanted to say uh, hello and also send our love that we're thinking of you. Our prayers are with you. And thank you for being an example to all of us, our family. We love you. We love you, Sister Chupola. Love you, dear. Love you, love. Love. We have to make sure you get your emails. We love you. This is Uncle. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Sister Tupuola. Hi, Sister Tupuola. Um, we hope you're doing well at the MTC. Well, I know you're probably doing well at the MTC. Um, we miss you, and um, it was so good to hear from your email. Your mom sent us a copy of your email. So it was like amazing that you're already preaching the gospel to investigators. Um, I know that all that preparation of the MTC, all that hard work is gonna prepare you for Reno. And um, just know that we are thinking of you, we're praying for you every day. And even when um, it gets hard or you think like, I can't do this, or you just feel like you're not progressing, know that all of us here are praying for you and that Heavenly Father, He sent you to where you're supposed to be and Whatever you're doing is exactly what you're supposed to be doing. So we love you so much and we can't wait to hear more from you every week. So we'll be writing you soon. I'll be writing, emailing you soon. So you'll get my email and um, look out for a little treat that I'll be sending next week. So look out in the mail and we will see you later. We love you. We're all so happy that you were now a servant of God and we hope you really like getting to meet us. Bye, we love you. Hola. Just uh, my little two cents. Just remember to be you. You are special in a lot of ways. I won't go into it, but someone out there is waiting for you. And only you are going to be able to reach them. So, Uncle Club Jr., love you and so proud of you. You show your trust in him when you listen with the intent to learn, to repent, and then go and do whatever he asks. If you trust God enough to listen for his message in every sermon, song, and prayer, you will find it. And if you then go and do what he would have you do, your power to trust him will grow, and in time, you will be overwhelmed with gratitude to find that he has come to trust you. Sister Tupuola, to be official, uh, Eva and I just wanted to say we're so proud of you and it's only been about a week, I think, that you've been in the MTC or just a few days and uh, I'm sure you are already overwhelmed with many, many things but at the same time, probably so excited from all the things that you've learned thus far. Um, the only thing I would love to tell you is that whatever you do, just do it from the heart. Um, and I think like when I mentioned to you before you left, just spread the love of Christ. If, if there's anything you can do, just spread the love of Christ, that he loves us and that he's mindful of us. Um, and I think you'll have a very successful mission. And we're so excited to hear all the, the fun and new, exciting things that you'll learn. Um, just know that we're rooting you on and we love you and we already miss you. Eva, do you want to say a few words? Um, I just want to let you know that everybody loves you. Hey, Hi, Sister, Sister Tupola. We miss you. Uh, we just want to say hi and we really wish that we could we could have seen you at the MTC, but we know you're gonna do a great job. Um, and we're excited for you to go out to Reno. Class rides? Yeah, hopefully you're uh, okay. You're eating enough in the MTC. And uh, keep working hard, be patient, stay obedient, and, uh, 
yeah, enjoy it because it's gonna fly by really fast. All right, we love you, dear, uh, or Sister Tupola. Okay, see ya. Uh, we wanted to say hi to Nadira, uh, to Moa. What would you like to say to Nadira? Hi Nadira, you made me want to go on my mission. And so, I'm so proud of you to my decision. Okay, Fetz. Hi Nadira, uh, we miss you already. And uh, hope you're doing good. Uh, we love you. Hi, Dira. Um, just wanted to say I'm very proud of you and your decision in serving a beautiful mission in Nevada, Reno. I am looking forward to hearing about everything that you're going to go through and your emails. I hope you have a lot of fun and just know that we'll be here when you get back. I love you. All right, we just want to send our love um, and we'll. We look forward to writing your, uh, we made a commitment tonight that we're going to go ahead and hopefully every month try to write you and uh, keep in touch and let us know if you need anything. Uh, but that was it. Love the Moors and all the little babies. Sorry, everyone's looking all ghetto. So, but, do you want to say anything, TJ? Say hi to Auntie Dira. Hi, Auntie Dira. Hi, Auntie Dira. Okay, love you. love you. And so, Guy, say bye. <laughs> All right. Bye. We love you, Nadira. <laughs> and we'll always pray for you that everything will go good. Yeah. Thanks for being a great example and um, for being able to go out there and preach the gospel. We're so proud of you. All right. Love you. Hi, hey, Dira. This one is sent out this little message out to you and send our love and, and our gratitude for, for you and the decision you made to go on a mission. We're so proud and so excited for you. Um, we can't wait to hear the awesome stories that... Um, that you're going to share with us with your experience and so um, love you and so happy for you. Yes, um, please know that uh, our prayers are with you and we wish you the best on your mission. We know you'll do really well. Um, you know, just want to let you know that if you ever feel like you're lost or overwhelmed or homesick, just know that the Lord is with you. We are with you and the Spirit is always there to help you, to help guide you, and um, just know that you can always rely on the Spirit. Um, anxious to see how your mission goes throughout the year, and uh, I'm excited. I know there's a lot of people waiting out there for you, so, uh, you know, we'll, we'll keep our prayers up for you, and if you ever need anything, just let us know. You can email us, me or Jay, and um, just anything, let us know and we'll, we'll get it for you, so. Have a great mission, and uh, we love you. Love you. Bye, Dira. Bye. Just happy for you on your mission now. Just, uh, you know, have a spirit. Stay away from boys. I mean, I'll teach, like, teach everybody. But, like, you know, boys are weird sometimes. So stay away from, you know, I know from experience. But anyways, you know, stay true to the spirit. Um, oh, yeah, don't lose your temper. Because that, and those stories from... Uh, knocked out missionaries or something. Yeah, be yourself. You got this. Hey, hey. what's up, Nadira, Sister Tupola? We love you so much, and we're so proud that you're serving a mission. We miss you already. I know. Love, right. you. love you. Love you. Patience is a godly attribute that can heal souls, unlock treasures of knowledge and understanding, and transform ordinary men and women into saints and angels. Patience is truly a fruit of the Spirit. Hey Dara, uh, we hope you uh, are enjoying your mission. We miss you. Uh, I am using some of your stuff, so don't get mad. Um, the kids miss you. Hope to hear from you soon, and we'll be writing in, sending you pictures. Um, I just want to let you know how proud I am um, that you're on your mission. I I know I'm the oldest, and I should have went on the mission to uh, be the role model, but I just felt like it wasn't my purpose. But I'm glad you went because um, you'll be that example for our, the rest of our little siblings, and um, I just hope you. Uh, 
um, have a good time and just live life to the fullest yeah. and just do God's work. We'll, we'll always be here for we'll you. We'll always be thinking of you too. Love you, Dira. All right, love you, Dira. Hey, Dira. Good luck out in the MTC and the mission field. Uh, remember not to choke up and to actually speak. Don't be so quiet and I don't know, use your experiences that our family have, have experienced to your advantage and just listen to the spirit. Hi Dira, um, it's been a couple days since I've seen you at the MTC, you look great and it's good to know that you're in good hands. Um, I think you leave to Reno in a few days um, and I know you're going to be an amazing missionary. I can't wait to hear and read all the amazing experiences that you'll have out on your mission. Um, I love and miss you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hi, Dira. Um, it's your sister. As you can see, I died in here. Oh, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Anyways, uh, I just want to wish you good luck on your mission, and um, you know, and yes, I'll see you in 18 months. Hey Dira, um, it was so great to see you today at the MTC and um, yeah, and I love you. Hello sister, Tola. Uh, it's pretty late, it's, it's 11 to you probably better sleep, but um, this one out. Keep trusting the Lord. You're doing great out there. You're in the Lord's hands where you need to be. We miss you. It's not bad. Have a great mission. Hopefully, you will see you soon. I know you're going to be gone for a short time, but you're out there to teach people to be. Be with their families for eternity. Uh, I love you. I uh, always, always pray and trust in the Lord. Everyone uh, hard time strikes. I love you and talk to you soon. Hi, Nadira. I hope, uh, or I wonder where you're going to be when you watch this video. Um, <clears throat> it's been two days since the last time that we saw you. And I'm the last one to record my video. You know me, I don't like pictures or videos. Um, and that's where you get that from. But anyways, um, I'm putting my face right here at the camera for you. Because I miss you and I love you. Um, I'm going to keep mine short and sweet. I think I've said everything I've ever wanted to say um, before you left. And in my emails. Please uh, don't forget to respond to my emails. Um, I get so excited when I see just uh, even the shortest message from you. So keep in touch and keep writing, keep sharing your experiences, write them, and um, <clears throat> just don't forget that you have a mom who loves you very, very much, and a dad. And um, what else can I say that I haven't said already? Just know that I love you and thinking of you all the time. I have uh, your horse statue with me that I actually put in the living room just to remind you. And that's why I had to get you your little horse and give it to you at the MTC so that you can, you know, we you know it's our little inside joke with you. So uh, anytime you're missing us, just hug your little stuffed horse that we gave you. Um, I love you so much, Dira. And... Until next time, ciao. Mwah. Bye. But as long as we are willing to rise up again and continue on the path toward the spiritual goals God has given us, we can learn something from failure and become better and happier as a result. Trust the Savior and His love. With faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and the power and hope of the restored gospel, you will be able to walk tall and continue on. The Lord is mindful of you. 
We acknowledge that your path will at times be difficult, but I give you this promise in the name of the Lord. Rise up and follow in the footsteps of our Redeemer and Savior, and one day you will look back and be filled with eternal gratitude that you chose to trust the atonement and its power to lift you up and give you strength.